In today's show, we're gonna learn about Power Apps comments and documentation. So we're gonna how you can do inline code comments, you can do block comments, and how to use documentation screens, all to make it easier for the next person who uses the app. And remember, while it's easy to say, well, it'll be her problem after I win the lottery, sometimes it's future you that might benefit from this. So we're gonna make sure you have a good grasp on how to you know, leave notes and things along the way so that people can put this back together when they look at this again, maybe in a month, maybe six months from now. Either way, it's always a good idea to document what you've done. But before we do any of that, first, here's our intro. Hi, my name is Shane Young with Power Apps 911. Those guys. In today's show, we're gonna dive into comments, documentation, and just some of this fun philosophical stuff that is not awesome, it's not cool, but it makes your future life a lot easier. So I think it's worth your time watching a little video on it. I think that's enough of an intro, so let's just switch over to my desktop and get started. And so over here on my desktop, we have an app that we made in a previous video. I know it doesn't look like something I would make because it's actually nice looking. Um, but I thought this was a perfect example of one that was worth my time to go back and comment because I can barely remember how I put it all together the first time. And if you're curious how I built this app, you can always look down below. There's a link to uh, this app. But if we hit play, we know that this app has some basic functionality, adding customer data, viewing customer data. But then we added this administrators only button. When we click on this button, we get this password pop-up screen, right? Hey, you can only keep going if you know the password. And we know that if you put in the right password, which I don't even remember, um, then it'll let you go to the special screen. But if you put in the wrong password three times, then it's going to send you to a timeout screen where you're locked for a few seconds, right? So that was what we built. So we'll say, whoops, we'll go out of here. And so this is something where I thought we'd come in, we'd look at how I would document it. Now, the first thing I would tell you about documentation, right, if we click on this add customer data button, for example, navigate to the add data page. That makes complete sense. I don't see any reason to document. And this is where you know me and the documenting, documentation purists disagree a little bit. They think you should document everything. I think a lot of power apps is self-documenting, right? It, if you can't figure out what this does in like half a millisecond, then you probably shouldn't be in here editing my app anyway. So I don't go back and document things like that, right? Add data, view data, pretty straightforward. Now this administrator's only button, whoa. Okay, so this one does a lot. So what's it gonna do? Well, we're gonna update our context, right? So we know we're gonna create a variable called pop-up. Um, and we're gonna set the pop-up variable to true. We're gonna set the message text to be that and a bad password count. Got it. And then we're going to reset the password field. All right. So what I would do is let's say we wanna come in here and document this. Well, what we can do is we have two types of inline comments we can use. We can do this format, we're gonna go uh, forward slash star, and then we'll say this makes the screen appear, right? Because that's what that particular piece of code does. And then we're going to do a star again. Where is the star? It's above the eight in case you're like me and <laughs> lost it. And so then boom, look at that. So then right in the middle of our code, what we call inline, we were able to add this. And so we didn't have to worry about the fact that, you know, there was multiple things happening here because of the comma. You know, we opened our comment with this forward slash star. We put in what we wanted to, and then we closed it with a star. And so this is called a block comment, right? Because it's a block of text and it could be five pages, right? We could have went down here, put it here and said, all right, there's my block start. There's my block in. Right, we say this makes the screen appear. It is cool and Shane from you know HTTP, oh HTTPS these days, right? PowerApps911.com showed me more stuff. All right, so we did a block comment, so a whole bunch of fun. We were able to include the URL, so. Maybe you built the app following a video you found on the internet. I don't know where you would have found one of those. <laughs> but uh, you can put the code, the link back to the video in there. You know, we have this nice interface where we can go in and add this right here with our code. The other type of comment that you might want to look at, though, is maybe you want to add a just an, what we call an inline comment, where you want to have the comment just take up the rest of the line, right? So. What you do is you do a double forward slash and then everything from here on after is a comment. So you could say, you know, 
Shane did this to make sure the old stuff wasn't in the password field. Boom. And so everything that comes after those double slashes still going. Oh, no, right? Because I said it's in line. So when I hit enter, it got on a new line. So if I wanted to keep going, I could do that. So then you could just pile on more lines this way, right? So if you find that you prefer to do your code comments with those four slashes for whatever reason, that's fine. You can just keep piling them up. But in reality, if you want to do this multi-line stuff or you want to do it in the middle of a function, the block comments work pretty well for that. Um, to use these comments, right, there's nothing to it. You just start putting them in here. But I would highly encourage you to go back, look at your code as you're writing it, and leave yourself notes. Sometimes like when I do consulting calls with customers and we're looking at their code, you know, and we're like, all right, that works, but it's not efficient, or you know, you kind of did that in an awkward manner. And but they don't want to fix it. You know, they just want to ask me a bunch of questions on the call. They don't want to fix all the things. So we'll just stick comments in their existing code. So then that way, after we get done with our phone call, you know, and after they go take their lunch break, then come back and they're like, oh, my list of to-dos is right here in my app. So they can't lose it. It doesn't get disconnected. They don't have to remember what field it went with. So commenting this way, very powerful, very helpful for you. The uh, other thing that I want to make sure we talk about, I know we've covered it a couple times, but I thought this video was a great one, is uh, documentation. So the way that I prefer that you do non-inline documentation, but if you want to have, um, okay, close all these real quick. Do, 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 do. But if we want to have, um, you know, notes about what's going on, maybe the data connections, things like that, what I will do is I'll come in here, I'll say do a new screen. So it's a blank screen. And we're going to name this documentation, all right? So there's my documentation screen. Oh, we're going to grab this guy, make it smaller again. And then I'll just go over here and insert a label. And then I just start typing, right? This app is for showing off how to use passwords and pop-ups in Power Apps. It doesn't have a data connection. Data connection, right? But this is what I do. I just go in here and I just leave all of these notes. Just a long running, everything that I'd want either future me or you know someone else to be able to come and look at after the fact that they pick up the app. So data connections are popular here. Why you did it, maybe who the app was meant for, maybe who told you to do it. You know, all of those type of things go really well in this documentation screen. And remember that with Power Apps, if we don't create a button here to navigate to that screen, then a user, someone who's using it, whether it's on their mobile device or in the browser, they can't get to the screen. So only people who are here in the editor experience will ever have access to the documentation screen. I always leave them at the bottom, so then that way they're, you know, kind of stick out a little bit. But this is just a great way for you to make sure that you know what's going on, why you did that weird thing, why you connected, what your data sources are, maybe ideas for future improvements. Um, always have yourself a documentation screen. So between the documentation and the inline and block comments, hopefully that gives you a good overview of kind of how to keep yourself, you know, building these apps and doing a good job. Because today you might just have that one app that's business critical. But folks, it's coming, right? Those of us that are learning Power Apps now, we're gonna be the experts in our companies. And we're gonna find out that, you know, a year from now we've got 37 different apps we're managing and we have no idea why we did what or how it went. So document early, document often, and uh, you'll have a better Power Apps thing. As always, if I can help you with any of this, you know where to reach me. You can get me at uh, Shane at Power Apps 911. You can hit me up to the website. You can tweet me. Comments below. I can tell you lots and lots of people leave me comments and I respond to every single one of them. Um, you know, we have lots of these dialogues where I end up doing a bunch of free support, quite frankly, but that's okay. That's what it's here for. So thanks and have a great day. Hey, it's me again. If you got a second, click the subscribe button. That always keeps me making more videos. Or if you want to work together, need some help getting your Power Apps going, hit me up at Power Apps 911. Always happy to work together. Or finally, if you're really just looking for more videos, that's probably what it is. Check out the Power Apps playlist over here and, you know, enjoy that. All right. Thanks and have a great day.